All right, good morning. This is day one of the 28 day challenge. We are up early in the morning, getting ready to head up to the YMCA to get a little workout in. And as you can see there, hopefully you can see that or not, but it is 4.54 in the morning. So I uh, couldn't sleep very much. I want to say that I always get this early, but uh, I do get up this early a couple of days a week normally, so I won't try to brag on that too much. But I was very excited, so I really couldn't sleep this morning about getting this started. So let's head over to the Y and uh, get going. See you over there. All right. It is time to get moving. First day of the challenge. And I'm pretty pumped up. I uh, did a video earlier this morning that uh, it was so dark. I don't know if you can see that or not. And I was all prepared to go to the YMCA and actually uh, do a little bit of recording down there. Got there as soon as it was open at 5 o'clock. But it was actually just a little bit too loud. I really couldn't find a quiet spot to really uh, do any recording without, without a lot of background noise. So just came back home to uh, start us off here. And... A couple things I want to get out of the way. I know it was kind of a quick introduction yesterday to getting us started here. And I want to kind of go back over and just talk about the why a little bit more and more specifically about what I'm going to do. And, you know, you can follow along with any part you want to or create your own part of this challenge as well. And the goal is for you to maybe document that. So leave a comment or leave something which you're going to do either on my Facebook page or on my blog at mauricered.com which I'll be posting the videos up on there uh, uh, on, a, on a more everyday basis. I don't know if I do a video every single day, but I'll do a video or something, or posting every day at least, to try to, I know I'll be out of time for some of those days. But the question starts off with just why, you know? Why do this, and what's the kind of purpose behind this? I'm not trying to lose any weight or anything like that. That might be a goal for you. You know, I want to get into better health, and this, you know, the sips and push-ups are part of the, the daily kind of ritual to get into better shape and kind of be more uh, healthy. But uh, I'm also going to be uh, eating in terms of uh, having like a fruit fasting in the morning time. So I'm going to be eating fruit up in the morning hours. And this is really part of uh, something I did, decided for Lent in terms of uh, kind of giving up something uh, over the Lent season, which will coincide pretty much with this. I mean, it probably go over the 28 days, will probably go over a little bit more than that. Uh, also, to so have a 10 minute walk a day. Uh, listening to affirmations, and perhaps I'll share some of the sources of these things with you in terms of where I got this information from. So this is really a, kind of a hodgepodge of different things that I've read from different authors and personal development speakers and that I've kind of put all together to come together for this. But, you know, again, the why is, you know, all about kind of creating a, a better life, the more better life I'm talking about here. And it's kind of this concept, this idea has been growing inside me for a long time. And just really sort of taking that first step to actually do something about it and to kind of start on that path and start on that journey. And uh, hopefully some of you along the way will, you know, find something in here that you can use and to incorporate with your life and to hopefully, you know, help you create a better life. And again, the idea is that I think we all have a, uh, a dream life we want to have, uh, you know, things that we want to do with our life. Uh, especially those of your parents, you can see your kids, you know, in terms of what they think about. And if you don't have kids, think about back to your own self when you were a kid, you know, in terms of the dreams and ideas you had for what you wanted to do with your life. And throughout growing up, you know, some of those things get taken away, and sometimes we're, you know, content to where we're at in our life. But I think there's always uh, a lot of us who have some things that we want to do that we still haven't done in our life. And, um, uh, you know, I know personally in my life, you know, I've seen a lot of people, not a lot of people, but enough people who have passed away, you know, uh, some younger than me, uh, some older than me, but unexpectedly, and, and just realizing that, you know, again, life is, life is short, and, and, you know, what are you really getting out of this life that you want to, and how do you create that to make that happen if you're not getting what you want out of life, and, and that's kind of the idea behind it, and uh, how can you create that, and how can you bring that about? in a more intentional way to make things happen and to make it happen in a very real way. So that's kind of the idea behind this and uh, so we're going to kind of go through some different things every day. I'm going to be adding some more, just more than just uh, about doing the push-ups and sit-ups. But, uh, you know, if you guys have video or some comments you guys want to add on to post up there, I'd love to see what you guys are doing and, and uh, see what you guys have ideas for what you want to do out there. And we're going to just keep going forward with this process and make it happen. So that's what we're about for today. And uh, thanks for checking us out. And let's get to the work. All right. I'll see you later. All right. Here we go. Starting off, I have no idea 
I have not done a lot of push-ups in my lifetime. How many I could do at one time, but uh, today is the day, so let's get started with it. And uh, I did get a question about doing girl push-ups. Uh, if you want to do girl push-ups, that's per perfectly fine. Whatever your challenge is to help you get going, make it happen. And let's see what I can do here. So let's get going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, 25. Ooh, we'll stop there for a break, I think. All right. <laughs> Take off the sweater now. I'm on my porch, so it's a little bit chilly, but I think we're getting a little sweat going. I was at the Y earlier today, so let's keep going here. Ah, 26. Harder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, whew. So keep going here. 40, need 10 more. And these are going to burn for sure. That was definitely harder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, so, uh, probably work on a different strategy, maybe of incorporating both the sit-ups and the push-ups for a little break in there next time. Could be an idea, but we'll go as we go along here. Another thing I wanted to bring up was about, uh, about average. So, most of us live a quote-unquote average life. Uh, the average person is about 10 to 20 pounds overweight. Overweight. Average person, uh, you know, makes an okay income, especially in America. We you know, have a pretty good standard of living. Even if you don't have, you know, the best income in the world, you probably live pretty decently. You can have enough to have, you know, a car, a place to live, cable TV, and, you know, money to spend on some extra things. Go out for a few drinks or whatever have you. Go out for a vacation once or twice a year. So uh, how do you get from beyond being average, you know? Average person is also about $30,000 in debt. Average person also is probably about, you know, uh, a month or two uh, from uh, having no income to being in the soup line. So, you know, so living a better life is not just about, you know, physically, but also how can you create a more... You know, more financially stable, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, uh, to to do more with your life. So that's kind of also what it's about too. It's like achieving achieving life more than just average. And I think most of us, well, I know all of us, have a greater dreams than just just to be average. You know, it used to be a commercial that was out a while ago where they had the little kids talking about, you know, I'm going to grow up to be a middle management or I'm going to grow up to be a, a brown noser and all this kind of stuff. It's kind of a funny commercial, but it really was kind of sad if you know think about it in terms of. You know, again, we have these dreams when we grow up, but somewhere along life, we sort of get stuck in that average, and we sort of kind of fall into the pace of the crowd of what everybody, what the average is doing. So, so that's what's really about achieving more than what is the average, and, and going beyond that, and and pushing yourself to do that. So, this is just one example of how you can push yourself, do something a little bit different, and uh, hopefully, you can find other ways along the way. So, there we go. I'll uh, get to the sit-ups here in a little bit, but thanks a lot for your time again.